everybody. Thank you for joining us here at the Huawei Consumer Business Press Conference at CES 2014. Thank you for kicking off the first Monday of the new year with us. A uh, very exciting day for you. Uh, in just a moment, I'm going to be bringing to the stage and introducing Executive Vice President Colin Giles. He'll begin by sharing some of the company's highlights from 2013, followed by a brief overview as to its focus areas for 2014. And then, the moment you have all been waiting for, CEO Richard Yu will be unveiling Huawei's newest smartphone device. And of course, we have made some time to allow you guys to get up close and personal with the device yourselves as soon as we're done here. And trust me, when you see what this thing can do, you're going to want to. So the theme of our event today is Make It Possible with 4G LTE. In the US and around the world, we're really beginning to see the benefits of 4G LTE. And we're beginning to really enjoy it from super fast downloads, to smooth gaming and uninterrupted video calls. It's clear that this technology is making a difference and in all aspects of our lives, work, play, sharing, fun, family, friends, whatever it may be. Me, for instance, as an actor and somebody who's in front of the camera a lot, 4G LTE has made my shows far more accessible. People can literally watch on their mobile devices wherever they are, on the subway, while waiting for a date to arrive, in the bathroom, whatever, whatever it may be, the capabilities that the 4G LTE technology has allowed and made possible are endless. So it is my pleasure today to introduce to you Colin Giles, Executive Vice President, Huawei Consumer Business Group. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to CES. You know, this is my first CDS with Huawei, so I'm really, really excited to be here today with you. You know, there are certain things in my first six months at Huawei that have stood out. First of all, the energy. I mean, when I look at the people who I work with every day, a lot of young people with an awful lot of energy in what they do. But another thing that stood out to me as well is that everybody wants to change. They don't just talk about change, but they really want to change, and they really are changing. So what do I mean by that? Well, we've shared with you over the years about the strategic transformation that Huawei is taking to develop ourselves as a business. But we're really making progress. And maybe i just quickly highlight three particular areas where we've seen significant change over the last year. First of all, three years ago we said that we were going to change from being an ODM manufacturer to an OEM manufacturer. And that means more and more of our products will be shipped with the Huawei brand. Well, I can tell you today that 95% of the products that we ship now worldwide have the Huawei brand on them. And this is a major change for us. Secondly, in order for us to get broader and wider shipments around the world, we also need to change the way that we distribute our products. And we've worked very closely with operators all over the world for many years, with strong partnerships. And I can tell you now, that's not going to change. But in order for us to penetrate emerging markets, in order for us to be able to distribute further and further around the world, we need to start developing partnerships with the open channel, distributors, and also retailers. And already today, 50% of the products that we ship are shipped through the open channel. And the third strategic change that we have made is that we're moving more and more from shipping feature phones to smartphones. And as of the end of last year, 87% of the products that we shipped were smartphone products. And that's leading to great results like this. In quarter one last year, we shipped 10 million units. Quarter two, 11.1 million units. In quarter three, 13.4 million units. And in quarter four, 17.5 million units. That's a significant improvement in our business. And not only that, you can see here from the seasonality that this represents a global company. 
a company that is shipping to all markets around the world. You can see the growth in our business, but you can also see the Christmas peak. What that has also led to, though, is that we now, according to IDC, are the number three smartphone vendor in the world. A phenomenal achievement for such a young company. Keep in mind, for only for the last three years, we have been shipping the Huawei brand. And that's on the back of a broad range of products. We have many products that we're proud of, and products that we're shipping all around the world. But some especially good products like the P6. I mean, this is my personal favorite. The P6 itself is slim, it's high quality, and it really is an outstanding product. We're shipping now the P6 in over 100 markets worldwide. Another great product is Mate One which we launched one year ago here at CES. It also has been selling incredibly well around the world and has been received by many. But what is really significant about it was that we created a trend. We shipped a 6.1 inch screen, and many of you out there said, oh, why do you need a product that big? But consumer take up has been really great. And people now realize why you want to have such a great screen on your product. And many of our competitors have followed, and more and more we've seen more and more of these types of phablets and products being rolled out. And so with this great range of products that we've got, today I'd like to say that our target for 2014 is that we will ship 80 million smartphones this year. That's as we develop our product range, as we develop the capability that we've got in distribution and emerging markets, and as we develop our brand and develop the quality that we have and bring the awareness up all around the world of what great quality we can bring to consumers. Now, another area I'd like to highlight today as well is our MBB products as well. Now, this, in my point of view, is a hidden gem because the MBB product range really brings some additional capability to Huawei. It really enables us to bring innovation, not only to our MBB range of products, but also, also to our smartphone range. Because it helps us stay up with the latest technology in radio as we move from 3G to 4G, but it also supports our ability to be able to miniaturize. And I think you all know that's what's happening in our industry. There are certain trends where more and more of the types of new products that will be coming out in the future will be miniaturized. And the fact that we have this innovation that comes from MBB enables us to bring that also into our smartphone and into our other consumer business group products. MBB will continue to innovate though, and you will see announcements later this year as we start to work closely with automotive manufacturers and bring mobile products to connected cars. Now a number of you out there are constantly reminding us that we as a company need to develop our brand. And so I've got some great news to share with you today. We've been working hard. We've been bringing out great products and developing our marketing capabilities. And as a result of that, Huawei's global brand awareness from 2012 to 2013 increased by over 100%. In all markets, <laughs> all around the world. And this really is great news for such a young brand such as Huawei. So, what will be our focus for 2014? How will Huawei now continue the success and continue to develop the success that we've had? What will be our focus areas for 2014? Well, first of all, I don't need to tell you here in the US, you know that one of the key trends is LTE. And with LTE comes great new opportunities for new companies and for all comp companies out there as we transition from 3G to 4G. It really is a new era, and only certain companies have the capability to be able to develop 4G and LTE. And Huawei is one of those companies that has that capability. Starting with our networks. Huawei is already the leader in LTE. We are number one. We launched the first LTE network in Norway in 2009. And since then, we've continued to roll out 
LTE networks. Today, we have rolled out 110 of the world's 244 LTE networks in 100 of the capital cities worldwide. And with that, we believe that also brings the capability for us to be able to bring that kind of LTE capability into our smartphones. So keeping our strategy simple for this year, what are going to be the three key focus areas as we now develop our business worldwide? Well, first of all, it's going to be all about brand. We need to continue to commit to developing our brand. We know that. We need to bring deeper meaning to make it possible. And we need to adopt new and different ways for us to be able to develop our brand and really bring Make It Possible to life in all markets around the world. Secondly, we're going to continue to work on our design. We already bring beautiful products to market, but we're going to bring more and more beautiful products to market through the design centers that we have in Shanghai, Tokyo, and in London. And then thirdly, we're going to start to innovate. Huawei is a great company for innovation. We've already been doing this for many years, but now we really need to bring our innovation across to our full product range. When you asked for slim products, we were able to give them. When you asked for better power saving, we also were able to deliver on that. I mean, I don't know if you know this, but 45% of the employees who work for Huawei Consumer Business Group are in R&D. And we invest 10% of our spending into R&D every year. We are a company that is truly committed to innovation. Now, we can't just innovate for innovation's sake. We can't just bring products for product's sake. We must understand our consumers and understand our customers better and better for us really to be able to bring experiences to life. So we've talked to our customers and we've said, when you look at smartphone products generally, not just Huawei products, but when you look at smartphone products generally, what are the kind of features that you're looking for in the products that you want to buy? And they've told us several things. First of all, they want better and better visual experiences. Consumers are really using the cameras that we put on the phones. They really use them, whether it's for taking photographs or whether it's for using them for selfies. They want to be able to share high quality photos on social networks or on the internet. And they want to be able to share in the future great photos with their friends and their family. What's the second thing that consumers want? They want more powerful processes in their devices. If consumers are going to be able to use more and more applications and really get deeper and deeper experiences with the, pro with the phones that they're using, then they need more powerful processes. The third thing they told us is that they want better and better applications that they can really use. And they especially highlighted navigation as a key experience that they want to use more. And then consumers are also telling us more and more they are frustrated with the battery performance on their phone. If they want to use the applications, if they really want to have great experiences on their products, then they need better battery performance in their products. And lastly, what are they looking for? Of course, they want quality. They want premium quality products, but they want them at the right price. And so these are the key things that consumers are telling us. And as far as Huawei, for us really to be a consumer-focused company, then we need to listen to our customers because we need to be able to deliver great consumer experiences so our consumers can do more and more with their smartphone products. We're moving more and more into a connected world. And at the center of that connected world is the smartphone. So to tell you a little bit more about how we're integrating all of these great consumer feedbacks into our products, I'd like to introduce to you the CEO of Huawei Consumer Group, Richard Yu. I have to say, in the few months that I've been with Huawei, one thing I'm certainly impressed with Richard is his passion to products. I can assure you, he's the guy who's really driving innovation and great design into our products. So welcome to the stage, Richard. Thank you. Thank you, Colin. He brings his uh, last 20 years 
big appearance on the consumer business in Nokia, now bring to Huawei. So we want building the industry the most of the, the talented people to shorten our gap and uh, with our competitors. You know, we are making a transformation you know, from a B2B company to a B2C company also. You know, the last uh, 20 years, we are mainly working on the infrastructure business, but within 10 years, we start our consumer business. And it's better within two, three years, we make a transformation, a transformation and we want to change our business from the ODM vendor now to a OEM vendor to with the Huawei brand. So thanks for call, calling his introduction of our strategy and also the market insight of Huawei. If you will see maybe the quickly calling his slides past the way, one very important slide is that the last year our brand awareness in most of the country the increase increased by three to four times in just one year. Even in China market, our brand awareness uh, is increased by more than two times. So this is a, we have our team have great achievement. So we our ambition we want to be a great consumer brand in the world. Today we in CES we like to review that last year. You know, last year in CES, we launched the, the industry during that time the largest screen smartphone in the world. Uh, in last in last year, in the Ascent Mate. You know, this phone is a large screen, but also we we call it a fabric. Maybe it's uh, working as a you know in the past people take a laptop, take a pad, and also take a small screen smartphone. And we, our design concept is one for all. You only need to take one ascent mate instead of take uh, many things. So after we launched this product, even myself, I'm using these phones. Yes. And uh, I like this. And also, you know, after we launched this, we receive a lot of good feedback from the worldwide. People like it, like a large screen, compact large screen. The people like this ultra long battery life. You know that the people they are using the smartphone not just for the phone call, but also for social network, the internet serving, for work, the processing email. Even for me, I'm using this for every day. After I using this phone, I am I'm not often if you open my laptop anymore because I'm processing my email on the send mate. And I also I'd like to take this chance to thank you very much for all your trust and report. <laughs> you, you give a lot of your uh, report to Huawei, this product in worldwide. So it's also really, really to receive a good feedback from the market. We launched this product in over 40 countries in worldwide, mainly in Europe, in China, in Asia Pacific, <laughs> and also in Latin American countries. And, uh, so this year, you know, we, today we will launch, you know, this year, the last year, this product, the Ascent Mate, large screen, large battery, and uh, it's about cloud mode. That's the, the Ascent Mate. But uh, this year we will launch the new product. So this is a new product, we also Ascent uh, Mate, uh, Mate 2, but uh, this is a target is still that's uh, the target uh, customer, consumer is the, uh, heavy users and also the business users. It's uh, using a smartphone seven days a week, uh, even sometimes 24 hours uh, a day. So it's really the target uh, for heavy users and the business use of the smartphone. Okay, today we launch the SendMate 2. Okay, this is the, the new phone. And we hope this, this one is a 4G LT smartphone. We hope this phone, you can, it, uh, you can experience the power of, the more power, the more power of mate. So, and we hope this phone is more intuitive. And with the design, you can see this phone, the design is, it's, easy, it's the best handling design that's Iran and a comfortable curve in the behind. And also it's a curve shape, comfortable to hold, and a slim bottom edge. 
and also with a fast screen to body ratio. So the compact frame. Mm -hmm. So let's see the design that uh, you can see this uh, compared to the last generation, the Ascend Mate 1. It's more slim, more compact, but it's still a so large screen. And also, you can see that it's reached the best in class screen to body ratio. It's 79%. This is uh, unbelievable, the large screen with the so compact design. And also, it's designed for wide a single thumb navigation. You can see that you, 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 you touch the screen, and uh, as I show you, you can cover more space with the finger. Because it's so compact, you can touch most of the area of the phone, even with your one thumb. So it's a large screen, but also easy to handle, easy, easy to take to, to, to thumb navigation. And uh, we make the comparison of the best Oh, with the uh, industry, the uh, flagship smartphones, with the uh, iPhone, with the uh, Samsung Galaxy S4 and uh, Note, you can see that we have we reached the uh, largest, the best screen to body ratio. And also, the slim to the bottom edge you, you, you have. You can compare with the iPhone, with all the Samsung phone, you can see it's uh, only 10.5 millimeters. So this is uh, this, uh, because why we shorten this distance? Because we want to this to easier for hand, hand uh, for one single hand touch. And we hope this phone is more power inside, not outside. So this phone is a fast connection, the best LT performance. It's, uh, and also with the fast processor and also fast sharing technologies. Firstly, we we look at the Huawei. You know, we Huawei we launched the in worldwide. We build uh, over 110 LT network in worldwide, and we are the leading supplier for the LT uh, radio network infrastructure in worldwide. But also, we are leading vendors in the 3GPP LT patents. We own, we have the we, we have a lot of patents and know-how on the 4G LT network. So we know the net, network. We can make the phone running with the network with much better performance, much better user experience, fast speed, low power consumption. So that's the benefit we can bring to the phones, to, to the consumers. And also, you know, this phone support LG K4 150 megabit. You know, that's last year, in the beginning of last year, we launched the industry, the first LG K4 phones in the world. This year, now in the Ascend Mate, we also support this LT Cat 4. This is fast speed LT. You can download a one gigabyte the video movie in within one minute. It's so fast. And also, this phone is compatible with all, mo all net mobile network uh, support. It can support. F, uh, LT, 4G LT in FDD mode, in TDD mode, but also support the TSM, UMTS, TDA, CDMA, CDMA. So it's uh, really that uh, the, all the, the, the full band, uh, the, not only full band, but also full mode support. This kind of uh, support in the United this phone is also will launch for the United States market. Because, you know, okay. <laughs> We hope that uh, the United people can use this phone. It's uh, support the AT&T, the T-Mobile, all the network. So it's really, and also the, all the, the United States, the carrier operators, their network, you can run it with them. So with all the band, all the mode. And also, it's not, not only have the good performance of the radio, LT, 4G LT, but also they have good re, uh, connectivity performance. The connectivity inside the, the Wi-Fi, we support U-band Wi-Fi, <coughs> 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi, we can support more than 400 megabit per second speed. And also support the Bluetooth Photo Zero, which can guarantee you to low power consumption for the variable device connection. And also inside this phone is a Qualcomm 
uh, chipset. It's uh, in global, for global market, we are using Qualcomm MSM8928, the chipset. And for China market, we are using Huawei, our own high silicon chipset. But this is uh, 28 nanometers compared with the last generation, uh, 40, uh, 40 nanometers. The 28 nanometers of power consumption reduction by half, by 50% reduction of the power consumption. So this phone have, will have much lower power consumption, much stronger performance. It's about the multi-screen operation. It can so screen sharing to multi-screen operation to, um, to maximum eight smartphone. And also it can share into the TV, uh, to your home. Home TV screen, and uh, it's all. It's, this phone is also more tuned for the entertainment. You notice the people is uh, they are more and more using phones. Sometimes uh, more and more people they are using at maybe even six, even eight hours per day because they are using phones to the internet access to the social network, the Facebook, Twitter, but also they are using for the the work for work. So the, so the biggest challenge is uh, battery life. <coughs> if you check, if you, we make the market survey, the biggest headache for their smartphone is uh, the battery life. So how can we handle this? The large battery, 4,050 mAh battery, which is the industry largest one in the, in the smartphone. And also with the 30% power reduction technology. You can see that we can guarantee that our phones have more than 30% of the power reduction technology compared with to our competitors, to our vendors. If we have the LT optimization, which can save 20 to 30% of the power consumption, we have the hardware design, more than 10, 13 to 15% reduction, power control saving, software management saving, and application management saving, and even process and optimization saving. All this patent technology of Huawei, we can really uh, have a state of our technology on the power consumption reduction. So we're proud of this technology inside the phone. We can make the phone really long better life. How can, can we reach that? More than two days, uninterrupted performance, the usage. You know that's in the most smartphone, is running on the 4G network. And uh, typically, they are only running for half a day or in the afternoon, it will run out of, run, uh, out of battery. I remember that uh, some people, they are using the, the smartphone, the iPhone 5S and the Samsung Galaxy S4, typically in the afternoon, in three to five o'clock in the afternoon, it will run out of battery. But uh, with this phone, it can really can work in for two days for heavy user, for heavy user and business user, <coughs> even uh, which is a two days level, it's a bigger improvement on the, on the power consumption control. And we make a comparison, our Ascend May 2 with the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 and also with the S4 and the iPhone 5S. I, I hope you can more care about this pillar. pillar. This pillar is a uh, business user and heavy users. This is the heavy users and the business users. They are using the six to eight hours per day even for the screen is the light. So we can reach 1.7, six days. And the, our competitors, they are most of them with less than one day. So, and uh, our engineer tell me that they are continuing to improve this. Then uh, maybe two or three months later, we hope this can more higher. So we, we are continuing to improve on software, no, not only the hardware, but also software. So that's, I remember the last month, I go to Paris, I have a meeting with one wow, of the very important uh, carrier operator, their executives. The meeting started in the six o'clock in, uh, in the afternoon. But uh, when they, all those executives go to the meeting room, everybody they are ch trying to charge their smartphone. They are finding the, the plug to charge the phones. They are using the Note 3. In the six o'clock in the afternoon, they all run out of power. But with our send mate, the mate one, and uh, I show 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 them, they, we we still have roughly 55 percent power left. But they are already run out of power. 
So I believe they are, they are our power consumption is so low, so we're proud of our long battery life. This is really, really very, very meaningful for the smartphone. I, uh, I believe everybody of you who are using smartphone, you can understand what I'm saying here is how the about the best importance. So we, Another thing you should know, reverse charge capability. Sometimes your iPhone, your Samsung Galaxy phone run out of battery, we can use Huawei's phone to charge your phone. <laughs> I, 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 I assure you, really, you put the phone together, I can charge you. I assure you, okay. <laughs> oh, you know, no problem, I can, I can charge you. I can take it. I assure you. <laughs> You can see, you can now. <laughs> so, so really that's the, I think that because you're so powerful, so I always take this together with, with me. Sometimes the uh, helpful, uh, <laughs> can be helpful to other people for the battery. Another thing is about the, the display panel. And many people ask me why you are using still using HD. I tell them we are using really the enhanced HD. The resolution, if you see this, is only not full HD, but it looks very good quality. If you watching this, you never feel that it's it's a HD display panel. This is as good as a full HD and uh, as good as, but it's a much lower power consumption. Why? How can we do that? I show you. First, we are using the LTPS technology, the low temperature polysilicon technology with having a panel. And it's more dynamic and rich colors. And also with a faster response and less uh, reflective. But the most importantly, it's more than 20, 20 to 30 percent power consumption reduction. So that's really, really helpful for reducing the power consumption of the phones. Another thing is about the CADC technology, the content adaptive brightness control, which can guarantee the sharpness of the, the no matter you're watching the, the characters or watching the video, or good quality. But also good quality, but also low power consumption. 30% reduction on power consumption. So that's really meaningful for the long battery life. More, and another thing is the camera. You know, people, everybody, they are taking photos you know, on social network uh, sharing is uh, the camera. And also the selfie, we need a good front camera. This phone with a five megapixel front camera. You know, in the industry, the uh, flagship phone typically is only two megapixel in front camera. But we are using five megapixel large, a uh, small large, Aperture and also 1.4 millimeter large sensor, sensor, sensor pixel, pixel, large pixel sensor, with support 88 degree wide angle. So it really can take your for you to take the, the selfie for multi people. So so that's uh, you know this also support 10 level of auto face enhancement. You can make the better photo of yourself but also make your more beautiful photo, but also even more younger. So, <laughs> you will see like a 10 degree. Uh, my, uh, many people are joking, that's uh, at least you're 10 years younger <laughs> after you take a photo. So, <laughs> I was take a photo, and uh, I using the uh, Chinese uh, Weibo, uh, Chinese, like the uh, Chinese Facebook, and I send the photo, and uh, people say, wow, you are much younger, but you are uh, using this phone to take the app. <laughs> and other things, it's uh, about the magic preview window. You take a selfie, sometimes your eye direction is wrong. So we have a small window to, to let you, to uh, tell you that uh, you watching the small window, then you take a photo, then your eye will be more beautiful. The eye you're watching is not in the middle, in the behind, but in the, in the front, in the, in the right direction. Because the, the camera is here. <coughs> so that, 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 that allows you to show you, I maybe I can I can show you that maybe like this. 
the front camera, we have some, some demo to, to a, a small window to show you on, on the front. Later on, you, can, you have experienced this in the in <coughs> Another is the panoramic selfie. Sometimes you take the panoramic, so it's, it's really a front camera can support this panoramic uh, selfie. Another thing is the back camera. The back camera, we are using 30 megapixels Sony, the second generation DSi camera. We can sort of bigger aperture f2.0 and also 28 millimeters wide angle lens. And the most important is the four centimeter micro mode. You take the, I know more important is the smart, the image smart engine inside because for the more than 200 of scenario, the optimization. So how can we, how about the photo you can take? No matter in the high context, uh, the environment, or in the indoor, outdoor, or even the night mode, or the micro mode. All the scenario, we have good quality picture. Another thing is the micro, micro mode. You can see that's how clearly the photo you can take. So in, in, in short distance, it's four centimeter. Another thing is, you know, is the auto, audio photo. Now you take the photo, but also with the audio together. So that can remind you, can, can make the more user friendly, more meaningful for you. This phone also supports remote shooting. This is the last night, my colleague in the hotel, in the Las Vegas hotel, they are, they are using the assembly to take a photo using another phone to remote control that. So this is the, the last night I asked my colleague to take a, a photo, they, they are, I take a photo of them. They are, they are taking a photo selfie. So remote control is very convenient. And the more convenient things is the emotion UI. Why you call it emotion? Uh, emotion is, you know, we want to people's emotion inside the, U, the interface. You know the Google Android uh, OS is a little bit complicated compared to iPhone. But we make the UI more, much more simple and easy to use without design. We even can support the simple UI. So we can extremely simple, easy to use. Some people, they are in the past, they are using a feature phone. They are worried about the, 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 the headache that you're using a smartphone. They feel too complicated. And uh, after the, the simple UI, the people they really like it. It's the more simple, ultra simple mode. <laughs> And more important things is about the, the Google Android, the OS, and APP management. In lack of many management on the application, the Android application is sometimes automatically running once you install. There are a lot of push messages that do a lot of things, but not no control. With our Emotion UI, we can make the notification management to control whether they can use that to all permission management or harassment filter or do not export mode. So we can really can make the phone more convenient, more easy to use. All the application can be manageable. Another thing I want to show you that uh, is uh, many people, they have a headache that they feel that their phone, the battery life is short, becoming shorter and shorter. You don't know why. Because they are downloading more and more applications. But uh, the Google APP applications, the problem is that uh, most of our recording, once you install, no matter you use it or not, it's automatically running. And also it's running in the background. So this concept is a, a lot of power consumption, and also you use it sometimes to connect to the network, sometimes also pushing messages, do a lot of things. Our emotion why we can make it controllable. We can control, can turn off the automatic running, the run, run, to control that. And also we can power, we can turn off the background of the running. So we can really can make your phone really can long better life, the less interference to you. And also, you know, with so large screen, sometimes we, we can, like in the PC, we can support the multi-window. You can, when you're, you're watching the video, and you want to, to calculate, and you can open the calculate, but the video is continually, continually uh, to do that. And uh, you, when you 
a node to get create create a node on that. And so sometimes you make a node, but in the computer you can do the other things, the multitask you can support with a large screen. Another thing is a single hand processing uh, operation. Sometimes you are in a sometimes you are in a subway, you only have one hand to take. And uh, this one can support really that's uh, the one hand take. One hand to, 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 to operation. Another thing is uh, gloves. Sometimes in the winter time, it's so cold outside, you can take a gloves, you know, operation the phones. And another thing is very useful. I, for me, I feel it's very useful. And we have the accessory. You can put the accessory on your car, and once you drive your car, you can put your phone over there. It will, it has sensor, it will automatically to the driving mode. Just so you can voice activate. You can use the voice activation to control the phone. <coughs> you make a phone call, you to navigate the phone, to, uh, to navigation, everything. So that's really that's uh, more convenient for you. And then you, once you receive your message or receive email, the phone can read it for you. The phone can read the read the message for you, can tell you who is calling you. And even you watching the message or well watching the mail or not, it can read for you. So you can I see it bring the more convenient for you, for your life. It's not more versatile, it's uh, uh, accessory. We want to bring more accessory to your for your convenience. This accessory is a, is a cover. The sensor cover with a sensor. And it's a, it's a window. Why with a vertical window? Because <laughs> When you receive a phone call, the vertical window is more convenient for you to slide. Because the last screen is difficult for you to, to do this slide. So it's more convenient for you. You can pick up a phone call with a slide. You can watch the, the day, uh, the time, the weather, the clock, everything. So it's more convenient for your life with, with, with this uh, like accessory. Another thing is we have, we have the Backup battery, but for this phone, typically you don't need it. So, so <laughs> these kind of things. And sometimes you, maybe you can take this phone for one week walk. You take a battery together. You know, don't need to take a charger. So maybe. And uh, we are also with uh, colorful the uh, Bluetooth earpieces and also with uh, Bluetooth uh, speakers. Okay. In the last, we want to make a summary. This phone is uh, more than two days. Uninterrupted performance LT, 4G LT performance phone. We want you using this great phone to experience the power of more. More speed, more large screen, and more working time. And uh, so we hope you can experience more with this phone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Richard. Now, before we move on to the product display, please enjoy this quick video.
Was incredible. Him, Not sure okay. you guys oh, caught no. that, but that is a full two-day battery battery life. That's ridiculous. Although, not as ridiculous as I'm going to look when taking my amazing panoramic selfies. All right. I, uh, I think you guys are ready to see the phone, yeah? <laughs> All right. I won't make you wait any longer. Right behind this screen, you can enter from either side. We have four product display zones where you can check out the Ascend Mate 2 4G. You can also learn a bit about our mobile innovations and our latest telematic solutions. So without further ado, please join us in experiencing the power of more. 